Hey, traders. Cal Bunga, welcome to episode 711 of a show you could be doing anything but you're here. And I appreciate it, man. Special 80s day. Whatever, dude. All right. Just trying to do something special. Change it up. You know, keep things fresh. But you know that is. All right. So did a like nearly 15 minute static video on Bitcoin today. So just kind of have the chart up from when I uh, was analyzing it earlier. And it's really, you've just got kind of some sort of, it looks like a down sloping resistance. And uh, we rallied up. And there was, you know, in retrospect, there was definitely some bullish divergence right here on the 60 minute. You can clearly see it. Look, the higher levels relative strength, the lower lows, and you broke. And penny price action reversals with that signifies. And so uh, here we are, 8204, haven't really moved much since the video and you know what would happen or what could happen if we did break to the upside again in the video it's like this All right that measure move man boom too easy All right but then it's like if, if you're breaking the structure maybe it's a larger measure move and the larger measure move could get us up to those common retrace levels as discussed yesterday the day before the day before that in the static video everywhere okay it's not nighttime i don't know why everyone keeps saying 80s night it's 80s literal day okay maybe 80s night for for some all right so here's that uh what i'm talking about maybe if there was some sort of structure that broke the upside whether you want to call it a triangle or uh, inverse head and shoulders or whatever the measure move is the same on all of them Okay, and, and I don't know what's going on with my webcam. Dude, it's like, this is a brand new problem I'm having. Maybe it's just, it senses that it's 80s day. And just decide, it's deciding to just malfunction. And show really weird colors randomly at certain times. I already unplugged it, replugged it back in and all that. I don't know. Alright. So yeah, dude. A lot of interest in crypto. Believe me, dude. There's no interest in crypto. That or I, I mean, it's just I'm not interested in me analyzing it. Okay. <laughs> What's up, Larley man? Fix my tracking. I can't, dude. I've already tried messing with it. My tracker's broken. I got one coming in from Japan, and uh, it'll take a couple weeks. All right, my VHS tracking is what he's talking about. All right bad cable man that'd just be so weird you know, it's just always tech problems it's just whatever so you know just a couple ways to look at measure moves the bigger one puts you in the golden zone of this retrace level from that high it's a low it's really not a big deal man it's not crazy 8950 to 9700 golden zone you got a square up up there near the 618 near the golden retrace oh, turn that off for you so you can see it's, it can get really distracting okay so we just looked within we just zoomed out and now we can zoom out some more and you can see what's going on maybe right maybe we've got ourselves a falling wedge could be the case and if that's if that's real then uh, you could understand tell uh, how much further we could go I mean think about it you know if you hit the golden retrace in time that could put you right at that down sloping resistance couldn't it yeah a lot of uh puzzle pieces could be put together on why it could make sense for us to break to the upside here okay well that's a lot of at mitch rays whoa dude try blowing on it yeah dude tried that too yeah that's like the first thing you go to <laughs> messing with that uh, cartridge give me a sec We good? We good? So uh, with crypto, I mean, you know, besides Bitcoin, uh, everything else has kind of not really moved since yesterday. You know, we can just look at Litecoin first, right? Talking about a, talking about a range of some sort. Oh, that's a lot of lines, dude. A lot. But uh, just for you to see it. You know, you've got a uh, bottom range, 52 to $53, and then the top range. Oh, look how you ran up and you hit it. Okay, between $57 right there, $58. 
And so uh, it does the same thing. Kind of looks like it's flagging. Looks very, very similar, if not almost identical to Bitcoin, at least since the impulse up. And I mean, if this is just a flag, you know, clearly you can see we could break this and run to the upside. And again, just like with Bitcoin, from the high point to low point, we have not, in fact, hit any common retrace level at all yet all right and that's between 6175 and 6883 you know so just taking the measured move of this little range if you want to call it that I mean, measure move puts you near 6475 which is a critical resistance support area it's one of them anyway there's i mean look right here how how insane is that the puzzle piece right where you just measure the size of the structure from the breakout point and it just happens to put you at a uh support area resistance from april of 2019 that one wick as well as a little back test look at the the spring right here where you fell below critical support then you broke to the upside back tested it and look at the run you got after the back test though it didn't manifest into too much uh still very good little example of a spring a, a, a back test of a spring okay so we could expect if litecoin was you know really not even litecoin it's bitcoin Okay, if Bitcoin was to break the upside, maybe break out this little range or that uh, little triangle, inverse edge, whatever you want to call it, Litecoin could probably run to that $65 area. Okay, now if it, it took a turn for the worse, everything went bad for Bitcoin, uh, you know, eventually Litecoin's getting at the bottom of the range of $53, $52, and then if Bitcoin broke out of its little range, which is, at, you know, near $7,700, Yep, 7700 then we get in time maybe see a measure move of like 4650 okay that's it man on litecoin sound check it's probably a little loud turn it just a little bit i'm trying man it's tough engineering this crap God. Okay. So evidently we have a scammer in our midst. Been hearing it all day. I mean, been hearing about it all day from the mods. Unbelievable, dude. I mean, the the unscrupulous behavior of people is just wild, man. People can't innovate. They can't create things for themselves. So they uh, they steal from others it's just like I don't know how you can live with yourself it has to do something with like upbringing really bad like moral fiber developed through adolescence that has to be it I don't really know man sociopathic behavior is that true Carlos man not androgynous enough for AD stream. Okay. Falling wage on XRP in the four hour? Uh, maybe. It's probably similar to like what Bitcoin's got. Okay. Uh, you know, <clears throat> Larley's Fibs, it brought you right to the uh, 618 from that high to low. And you reversed right at it. I don't know if, uh, I mean, I, I wasn't able to, I've been pretty busy today, but uh, yeah, I think there might be just a, maybe a channel or something too. And uh, maybe you're just uh, trying to hit that heart line or close to it. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know if it's a wedge, dude. Don't really know if we can call this a wedge. But there was just a little, I mean, a very small amount of divergence up here, like a high to a higher high. So you had that develop at the 618. Well, this is a 382 for me. How about that, Larley? How your 618 was literally confluent with my major high to low 236. It's pretty interesting. And we know in time, uh, if we were to make a common retrace at this point, you're looking for 32.6 cents all the way up to 39.655 cents. This is the zone right here, the golden zone. All right, and I'm saying we have not hit it yet because that didn't count, that uh, wick there. Because we, you know, 
you adjust, right? Moving from that low, now we move it down. It is kind of interesting though how when you make the adjustment, how that lines up pretty well. It's pretty cool. And you can see the 382, 382, 382. And then you got the, the 50%. Not bad. Okay, so no, I don't know about a wedge, man, on the four hour. Are you talking about maybe a rising wedge? Where it's like you just use one and two? I don't I don't think so, man. Oh my god. This is not what I want to listen to, and I don't even know why this is here. Oh my god, dude. I asked for one thing. <sighs> Holy crap. Let me do something. I was reading about the star. Okay, Talking I think we're good. The stars of the I think it's true, don't you? No, I don't. If you had any real balls, you'd jump off that bridge. I'm trying to get suggested. <clears throat> Excuse me. Did you hear what I said? Joseph A. Bank written all over it. Kevin, it is Joseph A. Bank. How'd you know, man? But from the 80s. Do you know what I mean? What's up, Zachary? You'll be interested. The sound clips, you'll be proud of me. Figured out how to get some sound clips for TTS. Someone tips anything today. It'll be 80s style, different than Mario than we've had in the past. It's pretty cool. Or if someone subs, right? Well, that's not going to happen, dude. Think about it yesterday. I did three live streams all over an hour. One was like two hours plus, one was over an hour, and then the other one was like an hour and a half, hour 40 minutes. Gained like maybe four or five subs total for the whole effing day. YouTube's terrible, man. I mean, it's like not a streaming platform. It's like you just can't grow if you're a streamer only. I'm at, and I cr created a static video. Nothing, dude just like nothing I don't even understand <laughs> anymore what to do I should have to deal with it okay so the stock market took a pretty uh you know it wasn't it was a red day man definitely a red day let's go to it Right back to it, Monkey S. Super Monkey S. All right, you're right at that uh, thing, too. There we go. It's a lot of my time. Okay, so, uh, hey man, you break this, you could have a nice measure move down. So 2672 down, you know, SP 500 is down 1.56. I mean, the all the major indices are down about the same. Big red day. So if you had any shorts open, good for you. XCL, Wells Fargo, let's go. Modern one, dude. TXM, yeah, Texas Instruments, dude. Fantastic today. Oh, wait, what? Oh, the 80 scammer tip $25. Everyone needs to take a chill pill. This stream is totally turbular, and I just want to spread some of that bodacious love. Wow. Nothing bogus about that. I'm not a poser, so don't get mental Mitch. I have to change it right now. Okay, so I have to manually change every single one of my uh, variations. So, uh, sorry about that. Gosh dang it, dude. It's like, I swear, my thunder gets stolen every time from just... If you want to see it, dude, all my variations, freaking monkey ass, get out of here. All my variations, each one has to be like changed. So, which one was that? That was the 25. Where, where is that? I'll do every single one of them, dude. Thank you, dude, 80 scammer, the 25. Like, seriously, man, thank you so freaking much. Um, Just kind of, ah, oh, there it is. God.
Okay. Now it is saved. That was the only one, besides maybe a couple, like, uh, really custom ones that's not changed over to the 80s stuff. Okay, it's just a lot of freaking work, man. Sorry. Uh, thank you, dude. Holy crap. Sorry about the ball getting erased. I had to do it just in case, you know, it happened or something. So, uh, okay. That's the S&P. So just, for instance, man, kind of like, there it is, chat. You did it. Nice. Just keep putting in the work, man. Always good TA and content. Thanks, Kevin Grubb, man. Is that a joint? Sure, you know, I, I will, and, and it's not going to stop. I'm, I'm just saying, like, you know, it's just, you choose your path, right? It's like, that's a metric. That's certainly a metric for growth. I mean, or for, are you doing the right thing? Well, if you're doing the right thing, you should be growing, right? That's Isn't that the way it works on YouTube? If people can, you know, whatever, throw food at old people and homeless people and grow on subs, it's like, what the heck, man? Pretty good. Oh, I don't want to play that one. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. Man. So, uh, Texas Instruments. This is a short I'm in for very, very strong reasons. Okay. The double top, the high to low, gold mean ratio. Scammer tip twenty five dollars. Where's the beef, Mitch? Where's the beef? I thought that was from like the twenties, though, dudes. Didn't know that was the eighties. Eighty scammer. Maybe that's because you're eighty scammer. You're saying maybe you're debating me. Where's the beef, Genesis? Pastor Joshua Bingo. What? No, there's like, okay, I, uh, wow, looks like uh, the church, some church has a really nice SEO. I typed in, uh, where's the beef Genesis, and I think it's like, where's the beef Genesis 1. Okay, that's not what I meant at all, but I uh, wasn't meaning like the first uh, chapter of the Bible. Um, Where's it from? Where's the beef? 1984. Okay, sorry, dude. I thought that was from a long, long, long time ago. In a galaxy not that far away. Wow. I feel stupid. Thanks, 80s Gamer, for teaching me the way. 589 will get me subs. Rush pabs. Maybe it will. Dude, you know it'd be nice if uh, this plays out all the way. Uh, it, you know, 80 scammer, what you think, dudes? Right? High, same high, and then about the same high again with no positive memo, lower level struggle strength every time. I mean, come on. Is that not ungodly perfect? And then you go to the weekly men, the weekly bearish divergence, and look at the weekly here. I bet Larley would be probably crying. Tears of joy and happiness and approval on a kind of a, a weekly bearish engulfing candle being painted right now okay only you know well, there's still time left in the week it could obviously rally but if you close below 127.73 this week on texas instruments that's ominous to say the least all right five in the chat you know what if we're being real here with candle high closes you can't even make this up, dude. Look. High. S higher high. Slightly higher high. I mean, it's like every time I look at this, I'm finding something else that is bearish. Okay? Tail end RSI. Divergence. 80 scammer. Come on, dude. Let's go. Are you with me on this? Destruction. So you gotta love it, man. The supply line's broken. Let's see how much deeper we can go. It's wonderful so far. Okay, there we go. 
the lower, the bearish harami. Hello, we talked about it yesterday in one of the streams. Bearish harami, and now big red candle, not making lower lows yet. But let's see what the fall through price action can give us. Love this one too. Freaking love it. Because um, the divergence on both oscillators on a beautiful double top. It was like a, it's like a combo, man. It's like a old school Karate Kid movie, right? Where you've got the one-two punch and the Karate Kick behind it with the rising wedge into a double top. Yeah, it'll depend on what the Fed does tomorrow and how markets respond. Certainly. Yes, it will. Tomorrow is the day, the Fed meeting, and the stock market is totally trying to hold the Fed hostage again, or it's holding the market hostage. Like, you better cut rates again, man. Look at that. You better cut rates again. Oh, we're going to dump this market, man. Okay. Holland Lane, Descending Triangle, or Wyckoff Accumulation. What you talking about, dude? Are you talking about what? You just talking about randomly Bitcoin or something, Holland? I don't know. Mm. So, another beauty and then we look at the weekly this is even more sexy look at the triple macd bearish divergence on this asset and look at the parabola line or the curve line whatever you want to call it look how far away and extended you are from this trend line mother of god the downside potential is insane look where it would hit eventually maybe down to like 53 bucks or something that would be mega. Gotta love XL Energy. Okay. For a short. 1984 Democratic presidential debate when Walter Mondell, Mandel used it to criticize Gary Hart. Okay. I didn't exist then. I wasn't actually on this planet. I was still in outer space with that moon boy. Sipping on uh, space gin and space juice. Okay. That's what we were doing. Bitcoin bouncing? Well, Bitcoin's at 82 of 5. I don't think any of that's changed since I did a static video today. All right, so. Think you can teach us puts and stays on Robin Hood? Want to take advantage of all these short opportunities? A static video would be dope. I mean, like, you, you could do puts or calls or whatever, but uh, maybe just find a brokerage account. That, lets, that facilitates shorts, short selling, right? You keep it simple, okay? And yeah, I mean, like, I don't really play options um, much at all. And it's not because I don't believe in it or something. It's just I haven't invested in myself enough to really play them. It's gonna be on, bro. Scammer tip $25. We need some 80s style gnarly inflation, and then crypto can do something radical. Cut those rates. That's right, and it's right now isn't inflation's not out of hand at all, I don't think. So, but the uh, you know, buying power, the velocity of money is at its lowest rate ever, I think, right? I mean, and it's weird because you know the DXY is so high, but just because the U.S. dollar is high doesn't mean that like it hasn't been completely, completely devalued to just a small fraction of what it used to be. You know, think about when we got off the gold standard. Everything changed. Hey, Bruh, Vet Moon Boy tip twenty five dollars with our minds on our crypto and our crypto on our, our minds. minds. Let's go, dude. Let's go. That's from the nineties, though, isn't it? Maybe the early 2000s? I don't know, man. If there was a way to get some feedback on how we could do a 90s week, and I could do it like on the 9th, so we could go 80s day into 90s day, like every month, how lit would that be? Um, or the 19th or something. But dude, uh, that moon boy and freaking 80 scammer, thank both y'all for the 25 mind men. Uh, space peoples, thank you. Holy crap! I think I had a dream about space last night, but it might have been. I think it all stemmed back from we were talking about Beetlejuice, the uh, the mega 
the, where the super red giant, it's a star, a dying star in the Orion uh, constellation, that top left, it's like the right shoulder, if you're looking at it, you can see it in the Northern Hemisphere during winter, I think uh, around midnight and later. So, uh, dude, I don't think you know, Batman Boy, how much you know about Beetlejuice? The freaking red giant, super red giant, that is, uh, is so large that if you put it where the sun was, it would engulf, you know, obviously uh, Venus, Mercury, Earth, Mars, the asteroid belt, and would almost touch freaking Jupiter. That's how large that thing is right now. And uh, there are theories or thoughts that it's already uh, had a supernova, but it's like 640 light years away, so it um, the light has not reached us yet. Isn't that crazy, man? All right, learning about all this stuff. It's it's why I mean you are in outer space all the time, dude. You know, being Bet Moonboy and all. So I thought you might want to know just so you don't you know if you're going through light speed, you might not uh, go that way. The gamma rays. Um, you know, if the the rays were actually the gamma rays were actually like the trajectory is pointed right at us. It, it would hit our planet and, and destroy all of us. But fortunately, based on scientists, you know, doing their thing with trajectories, the gamma rays, when it's exploded or if it would or when it gets here, it's going to be like billions of, you know, like light years off or whatever. So or billions of miles off from us. So wild stuff. <laughs> And there are many that are even larger. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, they're... Yeah. Just think about, like, superclusters and actual galaxies, how large that is, man. Micronova? I just micronova In my pants! I feel so good! Sorry. Galaga yeah, was your favorite arcade game in the 80s. Okay, so, uh... Well, it's Fargo Connect. Just, just looking at this one, too, man. It's down, like, 2%. percent good. So, it's really not made, like, the lowest low. It, it made a lower low. I mean, this was concerning to me a little bit. The hammer. That rejection. But, good thing you just... Hey, you take your position. You just hold on. Right? The Look at the recovery was pathetic. You barely haramied yesterday. And you gap down today pretty weak close too so uh yeah there was four hour divergence sorry about that sorry two so uh yeah man like four hour was right at the pcz you whipped up and never had a candle close above the 786 it's perfect man so despite anything you can't say the pattern didn't complete itself Okay, it is completely done, but we'll see if we can get to those targets to cover my short at like 44 bucks, 44 30 or something like that. So, uh, let's go, man. You know, and we looked at this yesterday one time. I think we looked at literally everything that existed yesterday with the three live streams, but uh, it's, it's more than you think. It's, a, it's more important than just a bearish cipher. You have that momentously sized slanted head and shoulders pattern that you broke out of back tested it just in March and now you're making lower highs and I mean you know I guess you're still making lower highs technically but this was a higher high but that's just the harmonic completing itself I think so let's go man let's go good hedges today there are days to make money and there are days not to lose money obviously like if you're participating in the market along in the major indices you know you took a loss, but if you have shorts open too, it's not near as bad. Okay. Risky business connect. Bat corn. I don't know what bat corn is. Now we could look at bat to the US dollar. It'd be the most ironic thing ever. Bat to the US dollar that is that has completed a, a bullish bat. Continuing to rise up 7% today chat from the entry of the trade setup. Give me a break Give me a freaking break, okay, bruh It's it's more like Okay 
So eventually, you know, I mean, this is, uh, I mean, this is swinging for the fences. It really is swinging for the fences. I mean, at this point, one could definitely start moving their stop up, at least the halfway or whatever. Um, just because now it's it's taken off and it, it didn't crash through. Thanks for the three streams yesterday. Your informative static video almost felt like a stream itself earlier. Here is to toe some fives, bra. Bruh. Elliot Urbina, thanks for the 555 repeating, of course. The Lee Dude, I don't know what's up with the webcam. It's, it's just now started malfunctioning today. And I've already tried fixing it, so I apologize about that. But it does give it like kind of a 80s hue scrubbiness, you know. Wendy Brown eyes up 23% on bat corns. Is that what you're talking about? This is bat corn. This is not bat corn. But it's hilarious. No, it's actually kind of ironic that you're talking about bat and corn at the same time because corn literally itself had a beautiful bullish bat pattern too. Also a cyber. And it exploded to the upside. We can look at that in just a second. Hmm. Double toppy though? I, I wouldn't say double toppy, but um, there's definitely resistance here. Yeah, definitely resistance. And it may not break it, sure. It, but what does it look like, kind of? I mean, does it not look a little bit like uh, Bitcoin and Litecoin, where it's developed a little range between uh, 16.45... Why do I have... Why is that happening? Just double... Did it, man? That's so weird. Between 16.45 cents and 21 cents, right? You're just... You're right at the top of the range. You're not over bought yet. So what you really need to have happen here is get a candle high close above that 21 cent mark on the daily. Okay. So you can keep running and instead of getting bearish divergence, maybe just get overbought and ready to the upside and hit another fib note. Okay. Very nice. Hit the tracking button, dude. Do it. Did I hear from the hear from that guy at the Cobra Cobra Gym? What? What are you talking about, Neil? Oh yeah, yeah, the one who like they were—he was in the show, and they did like kind of like a throwback thing for him because he was like sick. Uh, yeah, I did hear about that. That does suck, man. But at least it wasn't like—I mean, it's never good when someone dies. But it's like better if it's not like abrupt and no one saw it coming, right? Because like people are able to emotionally prepare, stuff like that. So, oh, my God, man. No, Bitcoin is not really, it's been at 8,200, like most of the day today. It fell below it a little bit, right? Looks like a right angle descending broadening wedge. Almost looks like a broadening bottom, right, dude? It's not really that great. Not great, not terrible. Not enough broken. So look, just like one and two. And then you get another trim line and you do one and two, right, broadening bottom connect. So there will be an upswing resistance. I mean, maybe you run up to, uh, you break this and you get 22.875 cents and then you sell off or something. I don't know, it's super scuffed. You gotta keep it simple sometimes just cause, uh, look man, the size of this structure, how big is this pattern compared to this little scrub pattern? A lot different, dude, this has been going on since February. February of 2019. Kind of like a nine month large pattern. Momentous, man. You were getting Chipotle? Get some Chipotle away. Uh, yeah, dude. I think uh, it's there. Right? Maybe that distribution going on a little bit with the downsloping resistance, but you're showing a <laughs> divergence. If on? BTC breaks 8,300 during the stream, can we get a defender background up in here? Kapow bat kappa. 8,300? It would need to break uh, the high of the day, which is... What's it saying? 8,220. Why is it saying that? If it breaks... 8,340. Yeah, we'll do it. Okay? 
I just don't know, man. If uh, if it's gonna do it. But uh, wow. Right. Bitman Boy is heading back to space. He's on stage 214. He's got to go kill the the anti V chain peoples. Okay. Rush Pab, thanks for the $1. One dollar, sorry, not dollars. Okay, so one wonderful here. Give me a break. It's like mega. Is ZRX? Yeah, has exploded. or something? Yeah, it had to be long. That's busted, dude. Jeez. Yeah, this one's up uh, nearly 17% ZRX. But that's not going to last very long. I'll tell you that. I mean, maybe it will. You're, uh, you're not overbought yet on the daily. But again, this is the downtrend you've been in. I mean, first anchor points like May of 2018. When you think about the exponential losses. Two dollars all the way down to 14.78 cents. Jeez. It's cool to watch. Yeah, not trying to distract people from the charts. It's their novelty though, right? Dang it, man. I didn't get that one. Sorry. I pity the chip. No one tip three three three, Cabo, because it didn't have the space or the Galaga noise. Thank you, uh, Rush Pabs. You pity the tip. Thanks, dude. Miss a T, right? That's an 80s reference, isn't it? I think. Much love. Yeah, Pac Man would be a good idea. Brett, that is uh, very possible, but I would hope, Brett, you'd have some shorts open right now. There would be so many opportunities. There were longs, yes, but can't just be only going long, especially in a market that's so weird like this, right? Anyway, I'm talking about the stock market. In terms of technical analysis, Bitcoin to altcoins, what the index is to, yeah, yeah uh, it can vary because of beta. Beta is like sensitivity to the macro, which are the indices that they're involved with or whatever. So yeah, in a way, in, in a simple way, yes. Thanks, JC Fiscus. It's the only one I think now that has it. Say hello to my little tip. That's uh, Scott Vest. Say hello to my little tip. I'm trying to think about a qu quote from that movie. But don't be a cockroach. Don't be a cockroach. So, yeah, dude, 25.75 cents right now, uh, nearing the, the downsloping resistance. We haven't touched it since October 17th, my birthday of last year. Wow. Let's go. That's awesome that ZRX hit a buying climax on my B-Day. Hi, the chat. Okay. So, but it's just now approaching. It's uh, the high it had before, right? It was September 20th. It was at these levels. Okay. So... It is not making higher highs. What you have to do if you really want this to reverse, okay, is you got, you're going to at some point have to break above 39.51 cents. I think it's a great news that you're getting back above 22 cents. We didn't even have, we weren't even doing that until this candle. Look, three hours ago, we closed a candle again below that uh, support resistance, right? And now just blowing up. 25.74. Let's go. 
Wonderful. Look at the uh, divergence that uh, emerged. That's what dreams can be made of. Look at the manifestation of the divergence on the oscillators. Nice job, technical analysis, once again. Do it, Brett. Look, uh, look up Vega. Look up Theta. Look at them all. Look at Delta. Delta is the angle of ascent, like the Delta on XCLs out of this world. Okay. Yeah, dude, gravy bit formation is my favorite capo. Come on, Rush. Is that all you got, dude? Those are the only 80 movies you know? Come on, dude. What is it? 63 billion has been used to support resistance. Total 2. Dude, I haven't looked at Total 2 in a while. I know it had like a really nasty looking descending triangle. It was worse than Bitcoin's. And it played out. Let's, let's just go to it. I don't know. It's been a minute, dude. So be gentle with my chart here. I guess it wasn't it. I guess it was total. Oh, this one was nuts, dude. Talk about deep crabs. You got deep crabs, man. God, and dude, I'm sorry. Things just get broken when you go from log to linear. It just gets, ugh. It's all busted up. But you see, it's like it didn't even play out, right? I mean, like it just it it. Walked out, dumped, sideways, ran up, failed like a scrub. Okay, so it's this is probably no, nothing to do with uh, the structure. It's probably like impulse, right? Like impulse down, and then you start your consolidation. It's kind of like the all the alts, like Ethereum. I mean, oh, go figure. It kind of looks like Ethereum, right? In a way. Dude, I'm still, I don't dig it, man. Ooh, the song's called Omniversal. You know what? <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. Thanks for hanging out. Can you check out OMG slash USD for me, please? Thank you. Sure. Thanks, so, Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan. Oh, no, it's on the other one. you got to be kidding me. All right. Hold on. I gotta get that back, man. Oh man, I gotta find it right now. Where's the beef, dude? Oh no. Sorry. I just felt like streaming. That was for you, Lieutenant Diane. Great. Okay, so uh, retrace from your low to high. Mm, that's all. 78% uh, retrace before bouncing. So we're in the deep retrace territories, are we not? Yes, we are. Huh. Can't say X, A, B, C, D though, if, but if it was either way, there you have it. I mean, look at this, you have the divergence on this too. This is like just all the S coins and excluding Bitcoin. So it's just like pretty much Ethereum's chart. And uh, it ran up and then dumped like Litecoin and Ethereum. And now it's just kind of going sideways, kind of flagging maybe. But it's like almost, you could say, shortening of the thrust too. Kind of got, it looks like a little bit of just class C bullish divergence where you have like the same low on the RSI and you have uh, lower lows.
Yeah, I think that's 90s. It doesn't matter exactly. Did I really not have that chart open? Oh my god, dude. There's just so much stuff involved. How many windows I have to have open doing this? coin s coin of the year awards Gallo. i don't even know no one's they all win this is like omg the way i had it and well it broke out scrub fail rally couldn't break below the 200 moving average before i'm just dumb just obliterated look at this ice line you held it you held it and you're below it and now you'll probably run up and eventually test it at 102.95 i mean this isn't really a flag anymore it just kind of the heck, man? <laughs> the heck is this? Oh my god! All right, I don't, I don't know what kind of pattern this is. If it's anything, it was almost like it was a good. It had a flat base and then broke the base. Right here. Accumulation, I guess. Looks like a mini triangle of some sort. See it, man? And you break it, and now you're rallying, and now you're showing bearish divergence on the floor, on the R side. Look, high on price, higher high on price, lower levels of uh, relative strength, and clearly, I mean, I don't know. It's all messed up here. Not really. It's I wouldn't worry about it, but right here is very clear. So maybe sell off could happen, but right now as it stands, you're trying to, well not bullish engulf. But I don't know where this is going, man. Like, I think that in time you'd probably come to test like $1. Think about the psychological resistance at a dollar. It's huge, man. It's as huge as $1,000, $10,000, So whatever to this, man. Probably adjust now. Anger points, I guess. Okay, one and two there. Join the live stream. Hit that VH player. VHS player. Hit that like button. I'll build that sub or something. Okay. 80 stop. Okay, so if you just like that, then you're clearly still in the downsliding structure until you break above 96 cents. And right after 96 cents is that critical resistance. Historical support resistance. And then you've got uh, the 200 moving average, which you're below right now. It's just awful, man. All right. Good for you. Terrible. Break with a dollar though, you might have a nice run. But to each overhead resistance, 120, 128, 158, 175, right? They're each going to be resistance on the way up. So good luck, man. Yeah, does anyone know if OMG has actually done anything to make a profit now? They're reporting that to the SEC. Oh, no, they're not? Okay. Great. Oh, my advice, America's number one TV show. Well, I'm you know. All right. What the? Yeah, it did, it did get loud. I don't know why it got loud. The other songs were fine. That was stupid. Hmm. Wow, dude.
I'm just going to scroll all the way up to the beginning of chat since, yeah, you get it. Tubular. Sprint doing? It's all right. It's fine. <laughs> On a day like today in red, I'd say uh, being up one cent's not bad. Okay. Still fine. Still holding on. And uh, look at this little RSI divergence at the end here. Dang, man. Okay. That developed. Cool. So it looks like a low here and then a clear lower low. You see that on the daily? And then tail end, divergence right here. Plenty of room to run the upside, huh? Mr. Watch Tick Wolver. Mr. Wolver. I'm just gonna call you Mr. Wolver, dude. Sorry. I mean, it's, it's fine. It's literally okay. It's just, it takes time, man. Okay, you're at the PCZ still. I mean, you're slightly above it. You hit the entry, and that is all we have for now, okay? You broke out of a downtrend. It's a Momo shift bump and run breakout. And you had a nice run, but now you formed a very complex pattern, which is that harmonic. Harmony. Peace be upon you. Okay, is that cool, Mr. Wolver? I want to look at Twitter now. Because that was also another one, right, dude? Dude, oh my god. Do we need to look at the last time I analyzed this and said uh, what it will do? Uh, we bounced here. We'll probably just make a lower high. Uh, today, a nice red candle down almost 3% to 1.7%. Wonderful, beautiful, beautiful rising wedge, man. And, uh, I mean, it was up here when I posted about this on Patreon. Does Twitter look like it's ready to sell off or something? Whatever the title was. 88% retrace. Freaking nasty bearish divergence on both oscillators. Get out of here, dude. It just doesn't get much better than this. And it's like, why? You gotta love this stuff. Freaking love it. Okay. So eventually, if you break this wedge, big measure move, you go all the way down to 31 bucks, roughly. Okay. Jeez. Stevon, Bitcoin just keeps you hanging on. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how anyone can just be obsessed with one asset. Even if it is the one asset to rule them all, you know, and one infantile newer market, you know, it's just it, as an actual real trader that cares about making gains. <laughs> Sprint was your free stock from Robin Hood. Nice, dude. Yeah, my drummer. Texas Instruments, correct. We lit. VHS cassettes were much bigger than beta. I don't even know what beta max is. Okay. Who keeps talking about beta versus Phillips? Was there some other like form of video encoding that was like a rival to VHS or something? I don't know about that. Yeah. Yex had a rough day. Well, Brett, I mean, it happens. That's why it's like, look at the macro. Look what happened to the macro today. Kind of got wrecked. So, young love. God, 
dude. What do I think about? I haven't looked at Target in a while, dude. I'm just gonna go to it, whatever. Nice, nice hindsight look, dude. Holy crap! Look at this on the uh, on the four hour man. Had that slanted inverse head and shoulders. Broke out. You back tested the neckline as support. And then rallied to make a measured move. Went a little bit higher. Probably had a nice fib high to low. 618786. Then dumped from your low to high. We hit inside the golden zone. Right? Almost hit the bottom. Almost hit the golden retrace, but stalled. And then earnings happened. Gapped up. Sideways. Square up. Look at the beautiful little square up here, chat. My God. You just range bound, dumped, hit that. There might have been a gap fill there too. Just a very, very minor gap fill, but you could just say square up too. Okay. And then look, you bounced and another gap up on earnings. So killing on earnings twice now. Okay. Beautiful. Breakaway. Where's my volume? Oh my God, sorry, I have my volume off for Photoshop stuff. The volume, that's that's clear breakaway gap stuff. That's not like standard scrub breakout or uh, gap up. So very nice, man. I'm sure we could probably plot some sort of channel. <sighs> could we? I don't know. I think everything gets broken. You could try to create a channel, right? Let me try one and two here. Yeah, dude, it doesn't work, man. It's almost just like you gotta go to your curved line tool, man. It's insane. It really freaking is. Sorry, I'm trying to make this, it's kind of tricky. It's kind of weird. Okay, so clearly you've gone to moon and uh, there is, I, I can't see much of a structure unless you just try to anchor now one to two and then go th three, wow. Interesting. Well, maybe. Man, it's kind of like what? You know? See, I don't even know if you can do that. Like, I get it. You're kind of hitting the, the heart line a little bit. But maybe that's just... Whatever. Okay. I'm just sticking with the curved line where, you know... You're, you're going up like at extremely high levels. I mean, this is like you're legging up stupidly, okay? And you could probably take this in, to another level uh, by going back here. Just give me a sec. <laughs> Good night, chat. Good freaking night. I mean, it's like completely gone, dude. There it is. So if you if you zoom out, you, you might have a better chance of uh, <laughs> talking about uh, one and two here. I think you got something a, a better structure that would make sense. All right, so one two. There it is, right? You're the very very top. So doesn't it make sense if you're curve it you're hooking up like that and then you're at the top of the channel where you could go down i mean i know it's a breakaway gap and all that but dude you are right freaking at it and let's look at let's look no further than the major fib extensions from your high to low chat we're at the 1618 fib extension you better be careful this could get wrecked i don't care if it, it did gap up and it's Trying to go higher, but it's stalling at the 1618, the golden mean ratio. Okay, you look at the parabola stuff. You look at the upsloping resistance. I mean, what do you want, dude? Like, that's... 
That's clear, like, clearly saying, be careful. Lots of downside potential. Way less upside potential on target. Target. Bring back Toys R Us. Well, we're saved, man. We're saved. <sighs> Beta was Sony's video format with its own cassettes and players. Better than VHS, but VHS became the standard. Somewhere, are you sure it was better? Why, why was it better, dude? What made Beta better than... VHS and why would they call it beta when they could have just called it alpha or omega dude omega law yes we looked at TXN mouse drummer yes beautiful chart though I mean you gotta love this man you've got the structure the upsloping structure but you also have the insane parabolic move up oh, okay hmm Sorry, man. Bitcoin is just uh, struggling right now. 8183 can't break that 8200 mark for for good reason, right? It's that down sloping resistance right there. You bought puts today. Well, better than taking calls, 120 calls or something. Hopefully, you have a decent expiration. But I don't know, man. This looks like one time two times third time today you failed to break it somehow was up you know hey dude target's got 360,000 employees how many uh how many employees does omg have probably none yeah oh well they got a team man they got a team with good hearts so i'll take that any day I'll take that any day over, uh, you know, whatever. Tar targets uh, 360,000 employees. Okay. Okay, man. Do you want to look? Look at it. Bitcoin dominance. What? Where we now, of course, TA is fake on this, I guess, right? TA just doesn't exist, it's not real. And screw me for even talking about things that ha are happening on a chart, but you can see that there was some sort of high here. We broke it even back, tested it, ran up one more time, but when we ran up one more time, we were exhausted. We were exhausted because we were able to read the oscillators that showed bearish divergence clearly on the daily on both oscillators, right? And so, sold off, rallied, low and high, and now you're selling off again. And when you say selling off, you're just dropping in percentage market dominance, okay? That's all it is. So, this is good for altcoins. Clearly, it's good for altcoins. So, many altcoins have been able to rise because of this. Okay. It should be. I should change it from Darth Vader. It's actually called Darth Vader. I could probably rename it and just call it Kylo Ren Mass Connect. No, it's it's not the mic. It's not messed up, dude. I'm just having a little fun, you know. Just trying to have fun. Anyway, just trying to wake people up, wake chat up a little bit, I guess, right? What the? Were we even looking at this? Were we even looking at this uh, during the analysis, man? Someone tell me. So, Trader Mark, I must break your man. No, we're back to normal, dude. What's up with that? It's called pump and dump, Darren. People do things with Telegram. They communicate. And, uh, yeah, it's, that, that was it. I don't think it's done anything now, okay? I think you're, uh, 
Man. I think it's about time. It is about time, chat, for this one. Look at look at this dude. I'm surprised. I mean, I thought maybe it could. Uh, this is a Chipotle. You know, someone keep asking about it. CMG. Dang it, dude. Was it really? Okay, dude. I was talking about this was the support we broke and back tested. Then we ran up when our oscillators were exhausted. Okay, sorry. And then we sold off from there. And I won't say sold off, right? It's just like you, it, it dropped in market cap dominance and it's continuing to drop some more. And it's back. It's below that support. And I'm using my quotations there, right? Because whatever TA on this, meh. Okay. That's it, dude. Streamlabs, everyone say it. Thanks for the 112 likes. Like, dang, dude, times are tough. Times are real tough. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. I guess maybe we should just throw fireworks now since it's like 100 likes these days is back to being a big thing. All right, so, uh, it was like a rising wedge, I thought. Um, I love how we respected the upsliding resistance, how had it plotted. We dumped out of it. We're rallying now. We're making lower highs. And I think the lower highs are uh, pretty much confirming the market that this is about to dump. It, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I think we could sell off. But, I mean, the 1272 is at $898. That major previous all-time high to the low point of that structure we were in. And look how we gapped up out of it on earnings. And that was a breakaway gap, and look where we've gone since then. It's gone insane. Yeah, scuffed inverse head and shoulders too. Like right, pretty perfect. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Gotcha. So, uh, I'm, I'm sure we could we could uh, probably look at a channel and stuff too. But I wanted to keep this open for the uh, just the whole Bulkowski thing, Bulkowski uh, pattern wedge. I call it. And so the look at the. the RSI divergence on the daily, it's got it got even worse towards the end because I haven't looked at it in a while. I don't even think it's on my watch list. Here's your, here's your weekly. Okay, here's that. Uh, oh, mother of God. Chat. Chat. Do you see this? Anyone at all? No, dude, I don't care, man. Let me see Pundy coin. Or let me not even watch because Bitcoin's not even doing anything. So, whatever. Okay, this is the channel. Look at this up sloping resistance. Oh, God. And just one on the bottom. Heartline resistance, heartline support. Just trying to hold inside that, uh, you know, upper quadrant of the equidistant channel. Beautiful. Okay. Definitely looks about ready, man. One high, another high, much lower levels. Might be time to go short on CMG. Thanks, Trader Mark. CMG doing things? Yeah. Chipotle's okay. It's not bad. It's good food. I mean, burrito, like, you know, go work out and go get a freaking steak burrito. It's amazing. Protein stuff, right? Good meal. Not Streamlabs. We got to say screw Streamlabs because I use Stream Elements and Streamlabs every time I go live or someone tips it, like, it will make itself go inside of my uh, description before anything. It's just obnoxious. And I'll probably not be able to do anything about it just because I use it for very small things like crypto tips and stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah. Sergio. I mean, probably expensive, right? And so nothing wrong with maybe shorting. Dude, a one-time Jonesy, you say that, but if you're an old school viewer, dude, Arquette and me, we, uh, it was the falling wedge of the year award, GBT at one time, back when it had some liquidity, back when all the altcoin market had a little bit more liquidity to it. It was beautiful. Formed a falling wedge for months and months and months and finally broke out and ran up and hit a 50% retrace perfectly. So, same with ZRX too, I think. Back in the day, man. We're talking back when S coins were tr more tradable. They're way less tradable now. They're just a lot of just crap now. What's up, Kanatsomo, man? Yeah, I don't use Super Chat because they take literally 30% of what you tip me. So if it's, if you just, if it's just too much for you to, to tip me through the stream elements app. Oh well, guess I'm just I'm not worth it. I guess right. Why should Google get thirty percent of what you tip me, and why should they hold the money that they that you tip me until the end of the month? Right, stupid. Y'all add CMG two to mine. I don't know. I thought I had it. Maybe not. Very large watch list. Okay. Oh my God, that one that Aquinas Theory was asking about, it was down 26% yesterday. It's up 51% today. 80,000 volume traded. Terrible. So illiquid. Get it out of here. Where's the beef? Oh, an excellent. Thank you, Zatrina. Really appreciate it. stuff figure it out dude wow dude reading more about scam connect the scammer I could easily do that, man. The watermark? Yeah, I could easily do that in the background of these charts, dude. No problem, man. But then no more stars. I could probably do both. It would just be a lot more work every day. Dude, this is insane. Can't read all that right now. Yeah, bat's still looking good, exactly. Nothing. Just blatantly scamming. And I mean it's so bad. Like that's like the worst thing I've ever heard of someone trying to do. Wow. Okay, anyway. Look at the I ICE on the weekly. 
selling off, man. 92.94, down 1.5% a day, just like the S&P. Go figure. Daily. There it is now. Rising Lynch. Thought y'all care about this because balked, right? Yeah, big red day. Been live for an hour and 22 minutes. If you enjoyed the live stream, that like button, that bell, that sub. I guess. Jeez, man. I don't have to do anymore, dude. Nathaniel, man. I guess let's just I've been live for that long, so let's just go back to Bitcoin, I guess, right? Here's your daily. Mitch, can you look at Oxy on the weekly? I could be crazy as usual with my TA, but it's getting crushed into sitting at a crazy critical support back from 2008. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can do that. I'm taking off the freaking fireworks, dude. I think I'm really pushing it too much. <sighs> Good God. Is that a joint? My comments are blocked. Maybe a tip will unblock them. Built my crypto wallet while I fueled these jets. Um, mods, did you see that? Um, Pabs, man. Um, I don't know what happened, but I'll be happy to try to find out what happened. Okay. And I'm, I'm, what I mean by that is, it might be your fault, right? It might be like completely your fault why you're banned and the mods. I have something to say about it, and I'm going to try to find out what they have to say. All right. Thank you, dude, for the 421 of Bitcoin. Yes, of Bitcoin. Thank you, dude. And then uh, Brian Reitner. Yeah. Thank you for the 690. Almost crashed my PC. Whew. And uh, yeah, we'll look at it. So here, you know, right after the local on the 8th, just looking at Bitcoin. So downtrend. Range bound. Bruh. Give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Give a man divergence with coinciding variables and you kings. That's correct, dude. That's exactly what it is. Give a a horse that is by the water whatever movable thumbs. What is it called? Not disposable thumbs. Whatever the word is, give him thumbs and he can do things. He can like grab a cup and drink it I don't know standing up thank you dude young love for the threes holy crap okay so just in the simplest way possible putting this yesterday Bitcoin bullishly engulfed today complete indecision after the bullish engulfing candle yesterday or I mean really today this candle the first positive momentum wick we've seen since September 19th you were showing RSI bullish divergence clearly Clear as day, no pun intended, and you're still below the 200-day moving average, which is not good. But you must get above that in time. The 200-day moving average is now confluent with the range, the top of the range, the small range that uh, you're within between 7439 and 8183. If you broke above it, a measure move would put you around 9400, which just happens to be the way it is. Right there, could put you right at the downsloping resistance again before you sell off once more to much lower prices whatever but or you know this could just crap out you could never break the range and then just dump hit 7700 again and then fall below it and measure move to the downside it's like 6875 which is uh look left some pretty critical gnarly supports okay all around there and that's uh i think a 1618 from a previous low to high so 67 6800 I'll definitely probably be accumulating a little bit more there on the corn, the big corn. But right now, I mean, there might be a small trade on like the 60 minute 
just for a braid of the upside on a flag or something, or maybe an inverse head and shoulders, whatever you want to call it. But you can't see it on the daily, so it's not it's not that great. But it's like, hey man, people looking for trades, you can trade them on less significant time scales. Daily's just normally always the best, man, because you're getting old, like most of the time lots of fall through price action, like major major moves and reverses the upside, right? Okay. So really, it's the first time we've seen real bullish divergence on the RSI since uh, February 8th or 9th or something like that. Way back here. You can barely see it. This was a uh, Gartley right there. So it's been a very long time since we've actually seen daily RSI bullish divergence. Uh, I mean, you can nitpick about right here where I, I was calling it that back when you know we were here. And uh, you broke the upside from that. So when you see it on the daily, big things can happen, big moves can happen. All right. Trader Mark says, I found you from searching BTC. Because of you, I'm seriously pursuing stock trading and trading in general professionally, man. Well, Trader Mark, yeah, I don't think you can actually trade professionally like for a living in just crypto. Maybe you can, but uh, not swing trading. You have to find something else. Okay. It's just. Not liquid enough. Very inefficient market. Okay. Really, really sketchy too. Just exchanges and infrastructure of exchanges. Just weird, dude. You need thumbs when there's TA. Yes, no thumbs needed. Disposable thumbs. That's not it, dude. That's not what it is. Opposable? Is that it? Is that what it is, man? Opposable thumbs. Yeah, XRP one percent center. That's wild, dude. You might be crazy. Too disposable. What's up, Ray Toshi? Good to see you again, man. Opposable. Yeah, so it is opposable. Okay, thank you, dude. Thank you. All right. We can learn something new every day. All right, so that's the daily. Let's just go to Oxy. Maybe we come back. Oh, look, it's Occidental. Like, disposable thumbs, opposable thumbs. Accidental Petroleum Corporation. They Occidentaled it, dude. When have I ever looked at this? Dude, I have no idea, man. I haven't looked at this. I, I I can't tell you. It was probably a year and a half ago. Jeez. Maybe. Maybe maybe we looked at it. Dude, I don't know, but it's awful. Look how it's it's breaking through. Divergence is very real right now still. Jeez. A wedging? Is that a wedge connect? It's a wedge. Look like a wedge or channel, whatever. <clears throat> but uh, very interesting. Two down slipping uh, trend lines that converge, getting near and near to the apex. You feel my dog? Divergence connect. It's like the divergence was there and it played out and then it dumped again. But now it's like you're making lower lows and it's like you don't even have negative momentum now and you're making higher lows roll to string. So it, it might just be, you might be making more divergence than you've already had. And it's like it, it went from Christmas Eve of 2018, June 10th, 2019, August 26th, 2019, and now it's like there's nothing, no negative momo. All right, getting obliterated though. Falling out of the channel, if you want to call it that. I, mean, I don't see how that really makes sense. Okay, maybe if we did uh, one, two, three with an equidistant channel, it might make more sense. Okay, beautiful. See, so you have it like that. It's like you're breaking out. How do you? How does it look if you do that though? You know, it's like. Okay, 
But there's just no heart line support really when you do it like that. But it would make sense if you go one, because here, look, the impulse down. This is the size of the structure right there. And then you get like the 25% trend lines. But just, it sucks on the heart line. That's what I'm, I see a support here and a resistance here. That's pretty nice. But I mean, I don't even know, how would we even get down there if you're forming this wedge like that? This should be popping the upside sooner rather than later. Yeah, this is the weekly, and look, you're about you're hitting a. Look, there's this crazy support over here at 38.55, and you could still you could get down there inside this pattern, and maybe bounce off that. That's uh, October 2008. That's your, that's the crash, man. That's that's wild, dude. Mega downtrend. So what were you saying though? Okay. So, uh, Robert Paps, you were hidden because it seems like you were. Why is no one talking about the security token that went up 2,000%? Blah, blah, blah. And you maybe were shilling. Okay. So we'll let the mods. If you, I would recommend talking to one of the mods in Discord. Okay. James, you're from Kuwait. They sound cliche, but a big fan of your streams. Give it work. Thanks, dude. Gen Z. We'll uh, hang in there and just keep scanning those charts, dude. Keep investing in yourself every day. Really appreciate you watching, man. All the way over there. I think it's probably pretty late. Or getting there, anyway. Yeah, maybe so, dear. Okay, so yeah, maybe. Bruh. Give a moon boy hype and the ability to buy BTC around 14k. He gonna learn Chinese. I don't have a follow up to that. Can you look at gold? What's up, Kills for a Living? Thanks for the uh, Bitcoin contribution. It was tough, man. You were two cents off your signature, dude. Okay, sailboats. Yeah, we can look at that. Did well today. Well, look at your pattern, doesn't. Okay, it wasn't as good as silver. I know silver had a na nice move up, right? Look. <sighs> look how you had the pattern, you broke it, you ran up, you busted back above it, and then you back tested it kind of as support. And now you're up, right? 1508. So, mysteries abound now. The pattern's not technically invalid until you break above 1530 or so and you really stay above it. Okay, so this could still be real. You could just run and make a lower high and then dump again. Uh, actually, could be argued that uh, you've got yourself at this point. Huh. Really got into these patterns, dudes. Okay. What could this be, chat? Do you see it? Dude, when my like computer starts like getting louder, I start getting nervous, man. Like it's it's starting to like the fans are going, dude. What pattern could this be, chat? <clears throat> Let me know. All right, Russell, have a good one, dude. Lava 60s. Yeah, dude. Yeah, for sure. That's it. That's it. There you go. Wow, of course. Who gets it first? No surprise. Brett. But then Darren's right there. And bless him, one of these like he could curse. Okay, there it is. Three falling peaks. One, two, three. 
you have two valleys in your three falling peaks. One's here, one's here. What do we call this chat? We call it the confirmation line. If you ever broke this, it could be a nasty drop down. It's a larger measure move than the head and shoulders that could still be in play, but it just looks like maybe you're developing maybe another bearish pattern. Uh, but again, hey, if you're in an uptrend now, truly, this ain't gonna play out, right? It won't play out if uh, gold is truly bullish. I mean, but it would make sense, right? Look where the measure move would put you, right near the 200-day moving average. Um, the, the problem is that, look, low on price, lower low on price, bullish divergence. It broke to the upside. So it's like, you'd be counter trend trading, trying to take shorts on golds, okay? There's Young Love. He's got put scared. Strike price in 10 days or expiration in 10 days. Sorry, not strike price. What is your strike price? Uh, it need, doesn't need to hold it. It needs to break it and then back test it and holds versus being below it. Right. You, you just test. Look, you broke it up. Thrusted is what we call it. It's a false breakout up thrust. You sold off. Create a little base. You rallied. What'd you do? Failed. Okay. Bearishly engulfed and failed. And then you broke the demand line of this channel, which is not good. You can break, hook, and goad it. Uh, dumped, but then rallied because of the bullish divergence on the daily time scale. And now all you're doing with the bullish divergence is making a, th a third lower high, which is potentially completing the pattern but again the way this in, this would get invalidated if you broke above 1525 yes held it and then broke these resistances and ran again okay because 1525 seriously important look left all the way back from 20 freaking 11 man look at this do you see it the fish man hey mitch i got nothing to say but take the bat Bruh. Crypto Fish Man, thanks for the ten dollars and three cents worth of bat. Dude, that's forty six point seven bats. Let's go. I'm gonna become a bat whale. Batman whale. I have some Batman whale. Bear pig would be in this area. Sorry. Okay, do you see? You are below it right now. You failed twice to break it. And the second time you failed to break it, it was a lower high than the first. <sighs> Monkey ass on gold. Maybe it's time for a correction on gold. I don't... Whatever. I mean, look where that measured move... Again, it could be completely Rudy Poo, and we could just break to the upside again. Or we could uh, literally break the confirmation line and only get down to like a 50% retrace. You don't make the measured move. Okay? You don't always make 100% measured moves. Disney dumps been incoming, dude. Remember when we talked about the golden mean ratio, the bearish divergence in the weekly and the daily at the top of a freaking crazy channel, like just everything. That was back when I went short on it like a month and a half ago. I made money, but freaked out and closed my position, covered my short. And I'm hitting myself for not holding my short on that one. I should have. It was so major. Hmm. Been live now for one hour, 41 minutes. We have 161 likes. Is there any way to get 200 likes? Or is, is that it, dude? I mean, we have the power to get 200 likes, but I don't know.
It just broke 8199. What are you talking about? It's 80, 8210 right now. Okay, so that's gold. Could be developing a uh, three fallen peaks, but and it's broken the upsloping support. And it's divert. It showed the divergence. The divergence played out, but it's only making a lower high. So you got to think maybe there could be correction on gold at some point. Especially if, you know, think about the Fed cutting rates for the third month in a row. That's not really good for assets like this. And when you're technically at such a critical resistance after going insane to the upside almost nonstop for months, four months. Yeah, corrections happen all the time. Not a big deal. So wing fan, wing fan, sorry. Thanks, Zan, Sitar. Um, let me see here, dude. I mean, don't know if it's real life or not, but. Wow. Yeah, not one new sub today. So all 370 all are subs already or just don't care to sub to the channel. Dang, man. It's demoralizing. I did three streams yesterday and maybe picked up four or five subs. It's just like, dude. What do you even do anymore? Like, what am I supposed to do? Here's more Ethereum Classic for your bag. Love the shows. May all my brothers and sisters have a good day of atonement. Forgive me, I've been a bad boy. Kappa sort of. Uh, Claudio, man, thanks, dude, for the 465, the Ethereum Classic, of course. The signature contribution, man. I'm becoming an ETC whale because of Claudio. He's just slowly but surely, it's like a... The Claudio dividend, man. All right. Just sitting there, and we're just reinvesting in Ethereum Classic, dude, together. Thanks, man. But remember when one Ethereum Classic, I remember you were tipping me like eight bucks. But I've also seen it where you've been tipping me like under four bucks, maybe, too. So it's all, ETC's all over the place, man. Thank you, dude. Much love. It's a Marco Rivera, dude. So you got a low premium. Okay. Well, oh man, so the 18th, so you got 10 days. I don't know if you'll have enough time, you know, 10 days. like that bread he says bull markets are born on pessimism grown on skepticism mature on optimism and die on euphoria nice bread who was that was that you did did you make that up to william baker dude tyler m the name of my show well the name not the show it's the name of my channel is mitch ray ta i don't notice how people like make their names crypto like they're like cheating for seo hi i'm crypto nick or crypto something else. Crypto generic scrub name. Okay. I mean, yeah, Bitcoin Live. But dude, imagine if I don't even use Bitcoin as SEO in my in my stream. I won't get anybody, dude. I won't, I won't even get one sub per stream, right? So I guess that we're rock bottom at this point. So maybe I'll just try it out and never use Bitcoin again in my stream name. Dude, it's just crazy. Thanks, Andrew, dude. Well, you know, whatever. I'd prefer real subs. Let's just go back to Bitcoin. OK, 
came in. Goes pretty simple here. Maybe I should only be make that visible on. I don't know. I wish I should use object tree and get rid of it. So it's a lot cleaner. So this is 60 minute. And this is the way I started my uh, static video today on Bitcoin. Where you had an impulse up, you're down slipping your consolidation, and you could, I mean, this could just be a bull pull. It's a bull pull, bull flag potential pattern. That's combo pattern. That's real. But we know, like, if there's not enough demand, the asset could get pushed down by an exchange to, by Coinbase itself, to offload their position at a break even price. Okay, down here. What's good is you haven't developed, I mean, there hasn't been the ability to create bearish divergence yet on the 60 minutes so what you're doing you're waning on your negative momo all right and maybe we get a chance to run again and eventually by the time we get up to maybe this uh, 85 50 area whatever we would show divergence then and then sell off okay crypto kanatomo there you go sakoshi man put hot chicks in thumbnails yeah but then it's just like they're gonna come stream and be like but that's not a hot girl John Templeton quit, Brett. Nice, dude. Very nice. Brett's just trying to get uh, Hype King again. He's trying to monopolize it, dude. I don't know if we've come up with a, a rule if you can be a Hype King two weeks in a row or something, or two times in a row. Okay. Can I tell you? We'll do. Uh, Pabs, man, we'll, uh, if you're still watching, dude, we're, looks like the mods have made, uh, okay, yeah, mods have made a decision to unban Mr. Pabs, so rush Pabs, man, you're getting a second chance, just letting you know, it is confirmed, I'll unban you ASAP, okay, Bitcoin to 18k next week, Keys, man. It's just in good conscience can't do that, man. Okay, so eighty-one ninety-four. You, you're sitting there. You're doing what Bitcoin normally does these days. Barely moves, right? It doesn't move much. If it moves up a couple hundred dollars here or there, I right, just range bound on an asset since you got into it in September. Created this really. That bottom, September 26th. It's now October 8th. I do, dude. Private wins. Like I can't even do that anymore because like the S coins, like no one, no one searches for them. It's like I'll be lucky to get. Ugh, dude, it's terrible. It's really bad. Jose, yeah, the market bottom or me just not being good at streaming. I mean, we, no one's bringing that up. That might be real. Okay. All right, so what was the other? I don't have four. Let me set. So the idea that there might be, you know, whatever, triangle, um, scuffed inverse head and shoulders, maybe. And look, you've hit a down slipping resistance, that geometrical Momo line. If you ever break that, man, you could have a nice run up to uh, you know, 8,700 for a measure move of the bull, bull, bull flag. But again, like going four hour, you can see that there might be a larger measure move from the very bottom, kind of close to the top. And it could be larger, it could bring you up to 9,000, 9,100, nearly 9,100, excuse me. Okay. Yeah.
Rush, you didn't get banned, but you were the, you did say you were banned in TTS. What? Oh, Robert Pabs. Who? What the? There's literally a Rush Pabs and a Robert Pabs. They're literally different people. Is that what I'm getting from this, dude? Oh my god. He may be crazy. Yeah, we don't know. Not you, Rush. Alvin, we uh, we looked at Bat much earlier in the stream, and it's killing it, dude. It's fantastic. Up like seven to eight percent a day. All right. I don't know about that, William, dude. I mean, maybe. There has to be. It has to be two different. Okay. Yeah. So it might be just a crazy person. Can't tell. I don't know. Okay, mods, y'all figure it out. I don't know what to do. Okay. Please don't FOMO. Thank you. Daily Dojo. Um, this isn't Cobra Kai, dude. Congrats, uh, Adam, dude. It's a great call on ENPH. By the way, wait, hold on. That was cruelty, dude. Well, cruelty's look, man. You know, it's a team effort. Someone's like, hey, can you look at this? And then, and then we look at it, and then we go. But the inception of the idea of maybe something that could be happening comes from cruelty. So because of cruelty bringing it up to me and our analysis that you were able to see, Adam Ibrahim is uh, made over 30% on a November 18th call. Could mentally, like, dude, that's that's kind of the rule, man. One thing about options like, hey, you get the money, you get the strike price. You get greedy, you may never see it again. You may never see those levels, right? But of course you keep going, but it just it depends on what's happening in the market and stuff, right? It's always a trade to trade basis. <clears throat> there is no fear in this doji. Exactly, dude. You get it. You all get it. You can learn how to, uh, in our doji, you can learn how to have exposable, disposable thumbs or something. Okay. I'll teach you. Uh, William Baker, there actually technically is on Bitcoin bullish divergence on the daily. So on significant time scale. So. <sighs> Maybe so PBR. This sucks, man. Thought I could, you know. It's like Moon Boy hype crap, and it's like they don't even have good graphics. They don't even do anything special. It's like it's like one little box, no music, nothing, dude. All right, I don't know. It just you know it gets demoralizing. You bring good quality education to people. The best I've seen. The people that are serious about learning will appreciate your info. Keep doing what you do, man. Is that a join? Thank you, Trader Mark. Really appreciate that, man. Oh, just, you know, it's like, if you gain new subs, it's like, hey, that means more people will be positively affected, potentially, by what the content you're creating, you know? And um, there's no growth. It's like, you get it? You know, it's like, it's stupid to talk about. I know. Sorry, I'm staring at the... Uh, Galaga right now, my bad. Thank you, uh, Trader Mark, dude. The fearless doji, man. What's up, Charlie? These bags. Okay, we got... Oh, hey, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, look on the hits. Oh, my God, man. Okay, so our daily is closed. Certainly. 
I made it to our mark. The stream's been going. And there it is. So yesterday was a bullish engulfing candle, and today, uh, or yesterday, that just closed an uh, indecision candle. So it's only pretty decent. That Gallagher background. Thumbs up. Bruh. Dude, Crypto Fish, thanks for the 23.58 bats. Very, very uh, holy numbers right there. 2, 3, and 5, 8. Good combo. Thank you for the... Wow, man. Dang, dude, that's... Like 70 bats you've given me today. Really appreciate that. Dang. Probably PBR, but whatever. I'll never know because I never watch their stuff. Okay, so. But yeah, I just I wanted to be here for the close. Um, man, I wish that. I wish I could flip this. Does anyone know how to flip? I know I know how to do it here, but I'm gonna have the same problem. Like. I want it to be like, I can have it like this and then make just this one, the clone of it, flipped. So you can clone it, but you can't flip it. Maybe you can. just gets in the way like I, I want it like visually for you to be able to see like this blocks everything it should be up here but I could just do this of course why does the end button change things oh yeah look at yex man it's okay though I mean yeah it's down like 4.68 percent today but it's still okay I mean it's still completely fine so whatever welcome to swing trading on yex but about to get rid of that end button. I don't even. Has anyone ever used the end button on their keyboard at all? All it does is cause me problems when I try to press delete. Does the inverse of what I want. Okay. So annoying, dude. Just wanting to make it look aesthetically pleasing, but I can't. And get like that close. Connect tipped one hundred dollars and fifty eight cents. Dale, we actually have to pay to be channel mods. Dot 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 dollar one hundred a day. Insane deal. Oh, would you look at this? Wow, channel mod connect. Thanks so much for the one hundred dollars and fifty eight cents, dude. Did you see that guy? Did you see what uh, Crypto Fish did? Twenty three point five eight bats. Unreal. It's not even real life, dude. What was? Who are you talking to? I haven't chat for the, the session top Jesus coming in two hours and one minutes into the stream. Wow. What happened to Dale? Oh, he wonders how much channel mods get paid. Is this live, Rita? No. It is, uh, we're stuck in the 80s, dude, if you haven't noticed. The VHS player going and all that, so. Kevin, no, we didn't look at regen. I, I didn't have a chance, man. Uh, dude, I know it, it It looks easy getting all this going, man. It's just, it's not. It takes a lot of time off stream to get set up. 
but uh, let's not say we can't look here, listen. Yeah. yeah he said, uh, I mean, like, why not, dude? Like, well, why not uh, say it's the bottom? I mean, it's, you know, we've looked at it and it's beautiful, right? It is the, uh, the bullish shark. Bullish shark. Very, very, and that's been going on since 2015 after an insanely large run all the way up. And, uh, here we are. 113% retrace, falling wedge, bullish divergence on the daily, on the MACD as well, as in the RSI, on the weekly, probably even more. Oh yeah, even on the weekly, man, here it is, RSI, bullish divergence, X, A, B, C, D. It's really, charts are like zero X, A, B, C, and there is no D, I think, or D is the 50%, and that's like profit taking levels on longs. I'm taking a long down here, but this is, yeah, ready to go, man. I mean, you're still, you're still within the wedge, though, aren't you, Kevin? Man. So don't get cocky, kid, Kevin. Yeah, this is a 1980 stream of the Bitcoin price action in or 2019, exactly, dude. Sorry, you're new here. No, it's okay. Don't be scared. Chat. Do not make any sudden moves. We don't want Rita to freak out and leave. Okay. We need all the new subs we can get these days. Okay, man. <laughs> hey, what's up, Third Eye Trader, dude? Saw you posting in the Patreon chat, dude. Good to good to see you again, man. I know you've been doing things, IRL. Hey, cryptos and tokens. You ready to go on a date? Well, there's this girl in town I met on on the airplane going to Austin, but uh, I don't know. It's like I don't know if we're gonna do it. Where do you send the sub sandwiches? To the I don't know Logan. Someone come up with something funny. Don't know what to say. What does it mean, motto to remember divergences? No, you just need to memorize it, dude. I don't know. I mean, just, just think about, like, what is divergence? When, what are, what's happening when things are diverging? They're doing the opposite, right? They're going opposite directions. So it's like a price is going down, and an oscillator is going on the bottom side. is going up. Divergence, right? It's like, though they are pointing, in, you know, the same way, right? That's, that's convergence, but... Not not literally, no, like it's the opposite is divergence here. Like higher lows, lower lows. Get it? Same thing on the MACD. Lows, lower lows. Right? Lower levels, negative momentum. Okay, they're they're converging, but it's divergence. Okay. Uh really what uh, convergence is is when you have you know, if you're making lower lows and you're actually still making lower lows on the oscillator, they, they look, they're like parallel. They're like, they're doing the exact same thing. That's convergence. Okay. I don't know if that helps any. There is, but I don't, we could try to make up some weird thing. I'm not very good at that stuff though. 420 Bama Street. Yeah. Greenville, Alabama, man. Cabo. Here, man. Can you hear? We are in the 80s right now, and we're trying to figure out what's gonna happen next, man. We lost the numbers. I'm a change. Bitcoin 8,207 back over, man. Will we rise? There is a chance, certainly a chance. But you remember, you're kind of in the middle of the range right now. Yeah, Wayne, just wait till I get my uh, hotkey set back up on. I don't have to look, I don't have to look away. 
I don't use them for Nando. I just use the histogram. And that's okay. Some people use yeah, A lot of people use the lines. I don't use the lines. Thanks, Maria. <clears throat> Thanks for uh, watching. Tuning in. A little late, though. I mean, I've been live two hours and seven minutes. I'm going to get a freaking beer so I can just relax a second, man. I don't know. It's just sometimes stressful, dude. You know? It's fun trading. It's fun doing technical analysis. But it's also fun streaming. Okay? Like, you got to think about that's like what I do. And so, like, if I'm streaming... And I'm streaming three times a day, and I'm gaining three to four subs the same day. That's terrible. Like, that's unacceptable. The fact that I produced a static video today was 14 minutes long, and I'm doing a live stream, and I've gained one sub, two subs. Horrendous. It's just like, okay, beer. I need a beer. By the quality of the subs. True that. True that. But still, again, it's like, it doesn't even matter about that stuff. It's just like the amount of stuff and effort I put into just streaming itself. You'd think there would be, you know. But, you know, in, in actuality, I'm really just a Twitch streamer on YouTube. And that's the way it's always been because the audience is here for this stuff. So, extra mile delivery service. Thanks, man. Remember, it's Y O U apostrophe R E in that situation. Invest in yourself, Kings. Nathaniel, you already drank one? You got me beat, dude. Try to catch up. You picked the wrong day. To, you literally quit drinking like forever or something, Wayne. Like, which one was it that you? Uh, I can't remember. Did you did you show an asset that was like really good? That was like amazing. Didn't you do that recently, Wayne? Like T Doc or BHC or something. Something, dude. <clears throat> Yeah, Jeremy, dude. Social! They were Stephen Blue. Sorry. <clears throat> Sending an SMS text to Kevin.
Oh, oh yeah, duh, that's what it was. Dude, literally, Wayne. For some reason, I don't know why. Because your meme of the month was so good, I thought you would like subliminally come up with some insane trade setup or something. It's it's crazy, dude. Okay. <clears throat> so here we are, man. Still in the flag. If you want to call it that. All right. Trademark, sure, I don't know what that is, dude. No crusties, I'm just kidding. Literally, I said, well, so I said Kappa. Kappa just means just kidding. It's a Twitch thing. It's like a younger millennial Gen Z thing, okay? This is very close to Three Ring Circus, dude. I mean, we're playing, there's literally Galaga behind the chart screen, dude. Blade Burnett, hello. Welcome to the 80s. This is what they did in the 80s. They wore this, I guess. I think, anyway. Thanks, Fritz Lang, man. I'm glad you're part of it. Glad all of you are part of the community. Okay, y'all the real ones, dude. Uh, the ones that are here with Bitcoin lacking in volatility. I mean, I'm not going to forget it, man. 350 of y'all still here? Y'all are real. Oh, yeah, it's because the Star Wars, the Star Destroyers are my trade setup. There you go, dude. No, I am your father. Bitcoin pumping? No, it's literally not moving at all. Not doing anything. But bro, the BTC is pumping, yes. Sure. Bruh. Kevin. I mean, Bitcoin is just a, a great thing, a great tool. I mean, it's like, I don't know, it got so many people that would have never in a million years gotten into finance, the world of finance, which yes, is trading, okay? It's a great hobby to have and you can, people can make it professions, right? They can do it for a living, but it's just like, I love Bitcoin because it just brought a whole new generation of potential traders to this market. And it's just like been a freaking honor and a pleasure to be able to like be here to try, you know, to help people in their journey to success in that in that trading world okay 100% cool 1000% cool so it's not too loud perfect you lost $500 shorting Bitcoin uh, yesterday blockchain hunter <laughs> Much more will come. Uh, extra mile delivery. Thanks for the five dollars worth of Ethereum. Thank you, dude. Bruh. Very, very cool, dude. XRP going to the moon. Yeah. Or something. Script it. <clears throat> Yeah, Brett, I guess.
you bought your first Ethereum Classic, well, I mean, it's like four bucks, four sixty-five right now, so it's not, uh, you know, can't go much further down. You can only lose one hundred percent of your value, right? But I guess four sixty-five is a lot closer to zero than eighty-two hundred. I don't know about that. You know, EVGA, EVGA for the one says don't short Bitcoin even in a downtrend. Dude, there are plenty of times to go short. You, know, you get seven, eight, six retraces, bearish divergence on daily time scales, maybe even four hours. Played the music? What are you talking about? He played the music. What's up, Julia? Todd Bizarre is here, man. Correct, EBGA. Correct. The signs have to be there. Stop losses have to be there if it fails. And one must have moderate position sizing every time consistency are we still in a downtrend yes Ken we certainly are still in a downtrend yes uh, clear as day right here on the daily look this is a downtrend okay oh he means you play the sample music yes I play the music Okay, good old Bitcoin doing a bunch of nothing burger. It'll come back though. I mean, it always does. Volatility always comes out of Bitcoin. Hmm, Dale. No, you didn't, dude. No, you didn't, dude. Produce some money making recommendations. Well, dude, is that not good enough for you, Dale? I mean, you, you obviously weren't here earlier in the stream. Like, this is clear, completely. Hello, bearish divergence, 1618, double top, broke the demand line today of the rising wedge, weekly divergence on the MACD and the RSI. I mean, after an stupid run, stupid run. Where are we at here? High to low. Give me a break, dude. Look at the confluence chat. It's like every time I come back to this freaking chart, <laughs> there's even more reason to believe this thing's screwed. Okay, you have from your high to low in the shorter term, which it's not. And the daily, it's a pretty big deal. Uh, 1618 and here high to low 1272 just forget about it dude it's so perfect on text instrument for that short but we're, we're now in the green we're very well in the green now so I don't know what you're talking about but uh, stick around man stick around we do it all the time I'll spend some streams just uh, doing complete stock scanning looking for opportunities so those are fun ones but no, only you know a few people care about it. Only the base cares because most people are just obsessed with Bitcoin going to ten trillion in five seconds. So yeah, Chipotle looks like it's about to fall off a cliff. Yeah, I agree. Krusty's Palma, you know they. <laughs> A lot of money, so. Thank you for everything you do. It's my best. You recently helped me convince my fiance to have a baby, the college football picks, and teaching me TA. Cracking a cold one. 
Cheers. Leroy Jenkins! That TTS right there demanded a Leroy Jenkins. Dude, Smiley Face, thanks so much, man, for uh, just supporting the channel, supporting me, supporting the team, being a patron, and uh, congratulations on Procreation. Procreation's amazing, dude. Okay. That's, that's wonderful, dude. And what was the quote that you told her that I talked about? It's like my mantra, man. I'd rather live a life of oh well rather than what if. That's the way everyone should live their lives. This is life advice, yes. Not financial advice, okay? Whew. It is freaking awesome. Look, there's two Bretts now. Oh my God. Which bread is real? XRP kind of moving. Hmm. 27.968 cents. Uh, not making higher highs yet. Okay, so nothing really. Kinda is the keyword there, right? Yeah, Alvin, that was one of them, dude. Okay. There's definitely a, a whole community of people that do want that to happen and they they wait for it every single day okay is a minute p man yeah it is isn't it kevin man kevin are you a family man yet dude uh oh oh man are we gonna open a can of worms people it's almost like when will it become mandatory to ban anyone ever talking about xrp capital okay just because of the vitriol and toxicity it can breed all right it's so wild no asset like that I'm obviously just kidding dude but uh you get it okay so uh Tesla today kind of just filled a gap. Yeah, that's all it did. It's making a lower high. I could see this easily coming down. Okay, so just ugh, so let's go to the big screen for this one. Okay, so this is Tesla. You know, uh, there's a couple things going on, right? Where it's like beautiful looking potential in time potential bullish garly where the pcz is way down you know a little lower than 200 dollars um and then you have this shorter term potential uh bearish or excuse me bullish butterfly bullish garly and bullish butterfly both of them the pcz's are down here and so all you did was you rallied up like you gap down you're rallying up as long as you make a lower high in your previous high this is still valid all you did was what hit right here the resistance what resistance is that it's extremely important okay it you, this is like been a crazy historical resistance support since february 20 march 2017 okay so uh you uh, look you gap down you ran up to fill a gap and you closed below it which is not really good if you're bullish for now. But hey, there might be good opportunities for a long on Tesla down at the $200 area, okay? And that's it. The rest about Tesla. Bruh, bruh. What's up, Aquinas Theory, man? Good to see you, dude. We're talking about something you were... Oh, hey, did you not notice your Soli, S-O-L-I, is up 51% today? It was down 26% yesterday, though. two kids at 30 I envy you man hey congrats fantastic also common man crypto crypto Schwab what up So we looked at Bitcoin dominance earlier, Akinna's theory. It's actually up on my chart before Tesla. I mean, I think it dropping is good for alts. That's always the way I've thought about it, okay? 
right? It, I mean, again, I don't even know about technical analysis, how it works here, but if you were going to use technical analysis, you stole below critical support, you know, a critical support that you had broken, back tested, ran up, but when you ran up and rallied, you had, you were exhausted on the oscillators, exhaustion in this form, class A bearish evidence, impending price action reversal to the downside. Well, you certainly got it from 73, nearly 74% all the way down to 68.5%. And now you're making lower lows than, than this low. So there's if you're talking about technical analysis, which I don't know if it's going to play or not. There's like a candle high close right here at 65.28%. Uh, so maybe that's uh, the next target. But when's the last time uh, this made a lower high? It's, it, it never in this run, this whole run, when you went from 50% to 74% almost, you never really made a lower high. You've always continued to make higher highs until now you made a lower high and now you're making lower lows. When's the last time you made lower lows? It's been a long, it's been a while, man. Been since April. So it's something shifting, something's changing from what has been. There's something in the water, there's something in the air. Carlos Matos, the world and Lady Galadriel together. The world is not once as it once was or something. You get it. Yeah, there you go, Quintus Therios, for you to. Back to Galaga. Thank you, Todd, man. I love him too, man. Thanks, Lon Sofos. Bitcoin is really just blah right now. I mean, 8173, it's flagging, maybe potentially, but uh, why have I not heard from uh, the new sub? So he said. Dale, Dale clan. Tell me, Dale, are you there? Was Texas Instruments not good enough? Do I have an opportunity for you? It's like, if you just got here, how in the world am I able to give you opportunities? Oh, dude just crashed. Game over. Oh no, dude. Shots fired. Yeah, you jumped in real late, loan. Buy me vest, the bond cowboy coming in. Arigato. From Tokyo. Mm, thanks, Brocket Man. Appreciate it, around as long as I possible good thanks for the 354 people still here really really appreciate it these are trying troubling times for a streamer that does technical analysis or crypto either one okay so thanks so much for being here my guy reminds you of a snobby cu customer at restaurants this Texas Instruments is not good enough Save me something else or I'll take my business elsewhere after he's shorted or ate the steak already. Kappa. Okay, so appreciate the 241 likes. 
and uh dude thanks thanks all y'all for the contributions channel mod connect probes man thank you for being the session top jesus again i think that's two streams in a row coming in like the king dude uh, very grateful so i'll just be back tonight i guess i mean I, I don't even know like if um it's warranted to be back but i want to because it's 80s night and i have fun doing it and i know some people get have fun with it you know like so uh Okay, chat. Freaking love y'all. I'll be back. So until next time, respect the T.
else, turd nuggets?